Okay, so uh, Eric and I are here. We're going to talk about uh, shooting positions. And there's uh, three basic positions that you can use for most of any situation. You've got a standard offhand, then you have a seated position, and then we have the prone. And um, basically it goes, uh, the, the stability increases as you move uh, downwards on that scale. Basic offhand position. And you can move side to side in that position, you know, step over. Move your whole body if you want to turn to shoot at something, you move your whole body instead of moving your upper. And you're going to put your elbows on your knees and lean into the position. Uh, it's not going to be the most comfortable, but once you get there, you'll find that it's fairly stable for the most part. And if you uh, really want to get a lot of stability in the seated position, you can bring your elbows actually further on the inside of your legs. You don't want the balls of your elbows to sit on your knees. That's a very unstable position. But the way Chad is seated here, that's a pretty good example of a seated position. Go ahead. few disadvantages to the seated position. One is that your field of view is a lot less. If you have a large brush in front of you, you can't move your body in a seated position. It's pretty much a fixed style uh, position. It's difficult to change the position you're shooting from when you're seated. But if you want a lower profile and you're not concerned about being able to change your position that much, this is a great uh, setup, although very uncomfortable. If it's not uncomfortable, you're not doing it right. You basically want to have your body at a little bit of an angle to the target. That way it just it feels a little bit more natural than going straight on. Makes your breathing more natural too. It does. This is pretty much the prone position. We'll take a few shots. When you want to reploy from the prone position, you can bring the buttstock down and use that to get up with, just like Chad did. Okay, so um, hopefully this uh, shooting positions video has helped you guys out a little bit as far as um, adding to your training uh, repertoire. Um, you don't want to do all of your shooting from the bench, you know, especially, I mean, I know we do quite a bit of load testing and load development and whatnot and long range shooting from the bench, but if you don't practice practical skills, uh, like the three shooting positions we just showed you and some of the rifle drills, you know, you just, you just won't be as, you just won't be as ready in certain situations as you might be otherwise. So you might want to practice those a little bit more, um, you know, take, take them into consideration. You know, we'll be using a lot of these um, techniques that we just showed you in the rimfire course that we'll be setting up soon down at the creek. Uh, we'll have, you know, various targets at different distances, different angles from the line of, uh, you know, from the line of fire. Um, you know, so we'll definitely be putting a lot of these techniques to the test down there in the creek. Maybe in the creek. Maybe in the creek. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs>